Welcome to Community of Love Christian Fellowship, where God loves you and we do too. Join us in person on Sundays from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. for 60 minutes of dynamic praise, inspiring fellowship, and life-changing worship. Point your GPS to 557 Cambridge Street in the Austin neighborhood of Boston, Massachusetts, 02134. Visit us on the web at colcf.org. That's colcf.org. To learn more about our Friday evening services, our various ministries, and our upcoming special events. Now, let's join the service already in progress.
This afternoon, I'm going to preach very briefly from the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk, of course, the end of the Old Testament Habakkuk. You have a digital device to go and punch it in H A B A W K U K. Habakkuk. You have your Bible that your fingers do the walk. We're going to go to chapter 3, the third chapter, in a very short book towards the end of the Old Testament. When you get there, ask you to just put your finger there, push pause. Let your device turn off. As soon as you turn it back on, you'll be right at that page. I, I have to set this up for us. Habakkuk is one of those books that we often don't read much and don't study much. We know that one passage that says, write the vision, make it play. We know that piece, but, but there's something in this book for us. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. But I think back over my life and the realization that God has saved me from a number of different catastrophes, from a number of different situations and circumstances that were beyond my own comprehension, that were beyond my own ability to discern that I was in harm's way. When I think about how God has intervened and interceded, has pulled me out of the murky mire of truth and put me on stable, solid ground, just so that I can look up and realize that it was not by my own doing, but it was God. It has taught me to say to myself, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. The song goes, not my mother, nor my father, but it's me. Maybe now we have a, a huge desire to pray for other people. And it's a good, good practice. But the question is, when do you stop and pray for yourself? It's a good habit to pray for other people, to intervene for their needs. We're very compassionate individuals. We love when people who we love are feeling good. We love when people who we love are feeling happy. But the question is, how do you give your own unhappiness and your own displeasure? Do you ever take the time to say, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. I'm the one standing in the need of prayer. We have the opportunity and gift here at Community of Love to pray for one another. We fill out our blue cards with prayer requests. And I pray that you take us up on the opportunity to allow for us to pray with you and for you.
It seems that good people die young. Know, and miserable, evil people seem to lift up. Do you know This book is for you. This book is a short, yet extremely intriguing book. And I think God thought, Habakkuk was a minor prophet. Matter of fact, we don't even know Habakkuk other than these three chapters. Habakkuk was a prophet in the land of Judah. And by the way, Habakkuk was a dude. I, I, I used to preach from Habakkuk, and I, I, I didn't know Habakkuk was a, was a male or female, so I would, I would, I would kind of do the, 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 the neutral gender thing, right? Habakkuk is a dude. It's a man. I want us to be sure, firm, who we're talking about. In this book, Habakkuk offers a number of complaints to God. This is a dude who is literally pissed off. Because as a prophet, he's seen so much injustice, seen so much oppression, seen so much harm and hurt to, to people who are so loving. People who should have their joy restored. People who should feel God's presence on a daily basis. But how do as a prophet say, God, why? Thank you. 
He makes the feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread the rocks. And then it says, for the director of music, this should be played on string instruments. I rejoice in how God's word is so plain. This is the person who is complaining. But at the end of the complaint, look at the response. We find in chapter 3 that, that God, I realize that you are still in control. God, I, 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 I'm not really sorry for being angry because it was my anger that gave me courage to come and have this conversation with you. But now that we've spoken, I realize that you do know what you're doing. Now, now that we've spoken, I realize, God, that in the centuries of time, you always had your own give up. And that in the end, you always win. And God, if I'm on your side, if I'm on your team, then I win too. Even if I have to lose a couple of battles. Even if I have to lose a couple of friends along the way. Even if I have to lose those very things that I covered, those things that I wanted so bad, I realize that in the end, you win. And I do it with you. God, I, I realize it's not going to be comfortable. God, I realize that I'm not going to always have everything I want. But you will always give me everything I need. God, I realize that sometimes I will have to learn how to cry. I will have to learn how to crawl. I will have to learn how to walk. I will have to learn how to crawl. But in the end, you will be
and that God loves you. And God wants you to be successful according to God's will and purpose for your life. And if you can hold on to that, let that move you through and past all the foolishness of life. If you can hold on to that, let that be your motivation for inspiration. If you can hold on to that, that we may make you for a night and another night.
God bless you.